The stars are out in hordes tonight, and he's wished on every one three times. He's out of words and he's out of rhymes, so he pities himself and he lies. And a star sees his chance and he beckons the boy to give ear to the bargain he brings. I can see her from here, he says with a grin, and a tone that is ridden with mocking. There, out in the half-light, she's out in the dark with her sword and her spear, and I'll give her a kiss for each tear that you've cried, in forfeit of both of your eyes. But what good are my other four senses, he screams, what good is taste with no method or means to relate it to that of her tongue? I can drink and get drunk on the same wine, but it's not the same place and it's not the same time and it's not the same look in her eyes. And what good is smell, when the scent that I let take my nose as a hostage has faded and lost all its meaning? I've been falling and feeling my way through the night, though I know it in vain, in some hope that I might find a flower that bore the same fire. Restless and tired, I wake from my dreams, and my nostrils are as clean as the sterile white bed where she lay with her head to one side as she called out my name in my night. And what good are sound waves that don't bring the noise of her name to my ear? I thought once that fear came in silence. Now, though I fear not, I loathe just the violence of words that aren't hers. And how can I know what she feels like to touch? How can I know what is real and what's not when all I've got here to go on is dreams and a son that makes vows that he's not what he seems? So he turned to the star and he threw him a smile and he said, So you see, all I have are my eyes and four coloured photos and a few faded lines that she wrote and left floating on sour white paper. The star looked above to no maker and laughed, and the boy cast his eyes to the west and laid claim to a spot in the black, and he gave it her name and he cried for the star, for he longed for a place, for the things that we treasure but hate.